Hello guys, if you want to find about a structure and the properties of a particular chemical or compound. So this zinc database is a very useful database in which you can find out millions of compounds. How you can access this zinc database and how you can interpret the data given by this zinc database so it will be clear in this video. So in order to open or access this zinc database just open your browser and search for this database that is zinc database. This is the main website that is zinc.docking.org. So just click here. Now this is the home page of this zinc database. Now first of all I will discuss this home page. So here you can see some sections like this is ask question section. Here these are certain frequently asked questions. So you can read them and find the answers of, question, of these questions. This is the news section here the you can say different updates of this Jing database is here. Now if you read this intro section so it will find out that this Jing database it contain over 230 million purchasable compounds and it also have over 750 million purchasable compound and all these are just searchable under a minute means it will give you result within a minute and now if you want to search for a specific compound in this zinc database so for this you have to click on this option that is substances just click in this option now in this window here you can also draw the diagram of a particular compound so these are some search option that how you can search this zinc database so here if you want to search just type the name of substance like for example I am going to search for this aspirin so just type aspirin now you can see the structure of aspirin is just here you can also modify this structure by double click and also draw the structure by using this tool and how you can search for this aspirin so just type the name now this option search with so click this option and you will see some other sub options like first one is default if you just want to search for aspirin only and here other option like similarity 40 means it will search for other similar 40 products. Now I am just going with this by default method. So just click this default and as you click this here are the results. So what we search so we search for this aspirin molecule and these are the details of this aspirin means it is added it was added in 2005 it is available for purchase means it is in the stock and it is the molecular weight that is 180.159 and here from this arrow button you can download all this data and you can use this data for your uh, research purpose so just click here and you will see certain uh, you can say formats like smiles sdf csf so you can choose either of them and the file will be downloaded to your system now these are other properties like the molecular formula of this aspirin is C9H8O4. It has only one ring as you can see in this diagram also it has only one ring. It has 13 heavy atoms, 4 heteroatoms and these are you can say this smileys data. The smile is here. So this smileys stand for simplified molecular input line entry system. So it is a way of representing or you can say it is a way of notation of uh, structure of a particular compound. Similarly this INCHL so this stand for international chemical identifier number. So here it is of IUPSC that it give a particular identifier to a chemical compound. So this is INCHL number and these are other properties like the net charge on this aspirin is minus 1. It has 0 hydrogen donor it has four hydrogen acceptors it has two rotable bonds and these are its dissolving property like our polar dissolution is 6.58 polar is minus 5 6.82 so by clicking this arrow you can also download this data this is the structure of this aspirin as you scroll down now this section is of vendor section means from here you can purchase this aspirin so these are their name and address by clicking this you will move to their you can say their site and so this is all information about that how you can purchase this 
aspirin if you again scroll down so now this is you can say these are the more, uh, more other informations like these are interesting analogs of this aspirin so here in this section you will find its analogs and these are the drugs which are based on this aspirin now this is the main scaffold structure which contain a single ring and this is the complete you can say structure of this uh, aspirin and here these are molecular patterns these are the references in which this uh, aspirin was you can say mentioned and these data this clinical trial so here these are the data showing the clinical trials of this aspirin like this is the trial id this is the uh, the title of trial and the status means the trial has been completed it was in the fourth phase and it is completed start date is unknown the change date is this one and the conditions under which this you can say for which this clinical trial was run so this was the condition and these were the drugs which were run during this clinical trial so that is aspirin we search for aspirin so this trial also use uh, used for this aspirin so similarly these are other trial details now this is the some additional information about this aspirin like cas number atc code who names so these are certain other information of this aspirin so this is the aspirin detail similarly you can search for any compound here if you want to search for paracetamol or any other compound so just click substance but this substance option and type your name you can also search by this column just type the name here or you can also use zinc ids you can also choose the file and these are the lookup means which information you want like if you want look up for the zinc ids just keep it checked if you want to search by the structure or names so keep all these options check according to your need so by this by using this zinc database you can find out the structures and the physiological property of millions of compounds so this zinc database is a very useful database for research purpose for finding ligands for your docking purpose etc so in this way you can this you can access the zinc database and analyze its data so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much